Hi guys, this is Bella from FR Makeup Artistry. So I just wanted to do a date night look that was really fun and girly and pretty. So I've come up with this look, which is just using purples and a dash of silver. So if you'd like to see how I've achieved this, please continue watching. So just starting off with an eyeshadow base, and this is just going to give my eyelids a black canvas to work with. Here I'm taking a piece of regular tape and I'm lining that up on a diagonal line with my lower lash line. Just taking this salmon colour and applying this um, colour to my upper crease area with a large floppy brush and this is going to act as my lighter transition colour. For this tutorial, imagine that we're dividing our eyelids into thirds. So on the outside third, I'm applying this dark purple and this can be applied tight up against that tape. Now taking a bright silver shade and applying that to the inside third. We may want to use a smaller flat brush for this area. Now taking this medium purple colour and this is going straight into my crease. Now the crease is the area between the eye socket and the eyeball. So just moving that blending brush back and forth um, within that area there and this is just going to create dimension and just help those colours blend seamlessly later on. Now on the centre third of my eyelid I'm applying this light pebble pigment. Now I have dipped my flat brush in a little water before I dip it into the loose shadow and this is just going to help pack more colour and intensity from the pigment onto my eyelid. Now that all the colours have been applied to the eye, we're just going back in with that dark purple shade and just applying that back into the outer third. And this is just going to create that drama and contrast that we're after in that outer eye area. And now we take that blending brush and we blend. Here I'm just checking myself out to make sure I'm happy with the overall look before removing that tape. As you can see for the first time so far I have started this tutorial with a bare face so I am applying my foundation and today I'm using my fingers to rub it into my skin for two reasons mainly. One, because my brush wasn't close by and two, to show you that you don't always need fancy brushes to do the work your fingers can do. Now moving straight onto my brows. Now it doesn't matter if I'm using powder, gel or pencil to do my brows, I always apply it with my angled brush. Today I'm using a brow eye pencil, but I'm first applying it to the brush and then using my brush to do my brows. So I normally start in my arch, creating shape and volume and length from underneath. Now from the bottom of the inner corner, I like to create a straight line going back towards my arch. And when working with the inner half of the brow, I'm using a very light hand and just using the product that is left on the brush. And just setting that with some clear brow gel. And now that the brows are complete, I'm just going in with this matte vanilla shade and just applying that to my brow bone as a highlighter. Now just using my angled brush once again to apply my gel eyeliner. And when creating your wing, you can just trace over where that tape line was. Now just curling our eyelashes, more out of habit because we will be applying false lashes, but it is a good habit to have. And just applying a very quick coat of your favourite black mascara. Applying concealer as my under eye highlight, always in an upside down triangle, and buffing and blending that with a Real Techniques foundation brush. Or you can use your fingers, just be very gentle in this under eye area. I like to set my concealer with a lighter um, setting powder and this is also just going to enhance that highlight. Now to me, no date night look would be complete without false lashes. So here I am once again putting on number 43 red cherry lashes and these are quite dramatic but I just think they're beautiful for this particular look. They do have a slight wing on the outside of them. 
Now I do like to blend my real lashes and my false lashes together just by giving them a very quick squeeze in a eyelash curler. Now just taking a small pencil brush and I'm taking the colour that we use for our outer third of our eye, that dark purple, and I'm applying that along the about two thirds of my lash line. Once again, I have dipped my um, pencil brush in a little bit of water before applying it in that purple pigment that we use in the center of our eyelid, and I'm now applying that to the inner third of my lower lash line. Now just taking your favorite black cold pencil and applying that in your waterline, which is the inner rim of your eye. Now just taking your favourite stick foundation and this is Maybelline Fit Me foundation in toffee and as you can see it's about three or four times um, darker than my natural complexion and just applying that where I would like my contour to be which for me it is underneath my cheekbones, along my hairline and down either side of my nose and then I'm just taking that Real Techniques brush and I'm blending that back towards my hairline and towards my temples. comes to blending up my nose contour I always just like to use my fingers as um, it just doesn't take off too much product and it's so easy because they're attached to your hands. Now I'm just applying a little bit of that lighter concealer and just the very center of my nose in a straight line and just blending that out once again with those handy fingers. Now just setting my face with an overall face powder that is very true to my complexion and this is just going to help our makeup last all day long as well as take away any unwanted shine. Blush, I always start at the very apples of my cheeks and blend back in circular motions back towards that contour. That's applying my highlight today. I'm using Soft and Gentle by MAC and I'm applying this to my cheekbones, down the center of my nose and to my chin. And this is going to do exactly what it says. It's just going to highlight those areas. Now for my lips, I'm just starting with this gorgeous dark pink lip, lip liner and I'm just applying that to my natural lip line. And then just to make sure we're not going to see any harsh lines later on, I'm just blending that out with my finger. And just to finish this look off, I just wanted to have a glossy lip, so I'm applying this High Shine Rose Pink Coloured Lip Gloss from Essence. And that does it. Here I think this look is so pretty and so soft and still really dramatic, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching.